Mohon perhatian channel Efek Film segera dimulai. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kembali lagi dengan saya baru di channel Efek Film. Di video kali ini kita akan melanjutkan merekap alur cerita film Lost episode episode di season yang keenam, season di mana season terakhir dari film Lost. Yang belum nonton di season yang keempat dan kelima, silahkan cek dan klik link playlist di kolom deskripsi agar mengerti alur dari awal cerita film Lost ini. Yang belum subscribe, silahkan subscribe agar tidak ketinggalan dari video-video yang akan kami bawakan. Terima kasih. Oke, di episode kali ini kita akan fokus bercerita tentang si Desmond ya. Alur cerita film Lost season 6 episode 9 part 2 dimulai tersebut ya entah apa yang ada dalam tubuh si Desmond. I know how this looks, Desmond. You'll be perfectly fine. I hate to resort to forcing this upon you, Desmond. And I hope for all our sakes you'll help me. All right, turn it on. Anyway, my wife is putting together one of her charity events. A shaft? Their bass guitarist. Overdosed. So you want me to babysit him? I know it's beneath you. Say no more, Charles. It's done. Slanger. The entire bag of heroin. Just everything starts to go dark, slipping into the abyss, and then I see we're together. Just as I'm about to be engulfed by it. My eyes is standing there. Untuk mencoba menunjukkan maksud dari perkataannya tadi. Di awal film kita berada di masa keberhasilan bom terlihat sini si Desmond yang sudah berada di rumah sakit dan diperiksa oleh dokter cantik dan imut namun rotok tua. Setelah ia mengalami kecelakaan bersama si Charlie di episode kemarin, bahwasanya tujuan si Charlie itu bukan untuk membunuh si Desmond ya, tapi untuk menunjukkan sesuatu kepada si Desmond. Di sini dokter tersebut menemukan kejanggalan pada tubuh si Desmond perihal hasil scan-nya kurang meyakinkan ya. Oke lanjut. Masya. Well, your CAT scan was inconclusive. No, I don't have time for this. I'm going to send you downstairs for an MRI. I need to find the man I came in here with. I know what's going on inside your brain. I'm afraid you're not finding anyone to... Oh, are you wearing any metal, carrying keys or change? Steel plate inside of your head? No, nothing. Any metal inside of your body? Pacemakers, pins, bullets? I know friends or family. I see you didn't list an emergency contact. Just put in my employer, Charles Widmore. Um, I don't want these. This machine is super loud. I need the button. Button? Panic button. You need to stop, press it. In that booth over there, you'll be able to hear me. 30 minutes, okay? Try not to, because we'll have to start all over again from the beginning. Be in that... Find the man I came in here with. I need to find the man I came in here with. Could you just give me his room number? His name is Charlie Pace. He came in an hour ago. If you're not a relative, that's confidential information. But we... Sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. We were in an accident together. I need to see him. Hey, excuse me. Um, we were on the same oceanic flight. Um, from Sydney. 
Yeah, yeah. You were, uh, you were sitting next to me. Desmond, right? Yeah, that's right. I need to find someone. He was on our plane. I, I wonder if you can help me, brother. And now he's here in the hospital? And he's somewhere in the hospital. Oh, he was on our plane. Go to the spot! Go to the spot! Please, come on! Take it easy. Try and kill you. Why are you running? Because no one here can help me. I was trying to show you something. You want to show me something? Show me your hand. What? Your hands. Show me your bloody hands now. You saw something, didn't you? In the water. What was it? What are you looking for, me? Who's Penny? I don't know. You felt it, didn't you? I didn't feel anything. Huh? Oh. Then why are you accosting a man in a dressing gown? Right, come on, where are we going? This doesn't matter. Oh, none of this matters. You think I'm going to go play at a rock concert after this? All that matters is that we felt it. You want to try and stop me? Good luck. Hey, where are you going? If I were you, I'd stop worrying about me. Start looking for Penny. Dan akhirnya memang benar tujuan si Charlie bukanlah untuk membunuh si Desmond Melainkan untuk menunjukkan kejadian yang sama persis dialami oleh dirinya kepada si Desmond ya, Di sini si Desmond mencoba untuk menghubungi si Charles Whitmore Menyampaikan perihal kaburnya si gitaris tersebut dan sempat hampir membunuh dirinya Teriak di sini Desmond ini uh, begitu nggak ngurusi loh itu kan cuma konser ya si Whitmore sedikit kesal dan menyuruhnya untuk menghubungi atau menyampaikan hal tersebut kepada Nyonya Whitmore atau istrinya terlanjut ke si Desmond yang akhirnya mendatangi si Nyonya Whitmore perihal dia disuruh oleh Whitmore untuk memberitahu atau menyampaikan seperti apa kendala yang dihadapinya kepada istrinya Di sini sopirnya memberikan wajangan dan memberitahu sedikit hal untuk si Desmond pria si Desmond ini kan belum pernah ketemu dengan Nyonya Whitmore. Please, dan ternyata Nyonya Whitmore yang dimaksud ialah Eloise, ibunya si Daniel. Lanjut. Mrs. Whitmore? Yes. I work for your husband. My name is Desmond Hume. Oh, of course, Mr. Hume. <laughs> it's a travesty we haven't met before. Charles has told me so much about you. Well, it's about time. Well, the feeling is mutual, Mrs. Whitmore. Oh, please. It's Eloise. Eloise. <laughs> so, uh, what crisis forced Charles Stittman into the bowels of charity balls? to send his best fix. Well, Eloise, um, but it appears as if uh, Drive Shaft, I'm deeply sorry, won't be able to perform alongside your son. And uh, I take full responsibility. Don't worry about it. Excuse me? Oh, my son will understand. Rock stars. I suppose if one employs so-called yeah. certain unpredictability comes with the territory. You're not angry? Oh, not at all, dear. What happened, happened. For coming and telling me in person. Thank you so much, Mr. Hume. A pleasure meeting you. And you. Uh, center that flower arrangement, please. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Marky, Mary, plus one. Milton, Penny, Solo, Pepper, Nicholas, plus one. Excuse me. I'm sorry, um, did you just say Penny? And who are you? Um, I work for Mr. Whitmore. May I see the list? You absolutely may not. Begging your pardon, I, no, I'm entrusted with confidential items. Oh, that list is confidential. Yeah. Are you questioning me? No, I just want to look at one name on that list. 
And if for some reason that's a problem. Come with me. Out, everyone, now. Look, I'm I'm sorry if I've overstepped my bounds, but I've heard what you've had to say. Now you listen to me. But Stop I just... talking, Hugh. I want you to stop. Stop? Stop what? The serious problem. It is, in fact, a violation. Someone has clearly affected the way you see things. So whatever you're doing, whatever it is you think you're looking for, you need to stop looking for it. Do you know what I'm looking for, Mrs. Whitmore? I... I don't know why you're looking for anything. You... On top of it, you've managed to attain the thing you've wanted more than anything. My husband's approval. You have the perfect life. How do you know what I want? Because I bloody do. I need to see that list. You need to tell me why I can't. Because you're not ready yet, Desmond. Ready? Ready for what? Berlanjut ke si Desmond yang akhirnya pergi meninggalkan tempat lokasi acara amal dari keluarga si Whitmore ya. Terlihat di sini dia tampak kebingungan tentang yang dibicarakan oleh Nyonya Whitmore kepada dirinya ya. Terlihat di sini dia menanyakan alkohol kepada supirnya karena dia pusing memikirkan tentang apa yang dibicarakan oleh Nyonya Whitmore kepada dirinya yaitu soal si Penny ya. Dan tiba-tiba di sini dia didatangi oleh si Daniel ya. Di sini si Daniel mencoba untuk mengajak si Desmond yes. untuk ngobrol ya. Oke lanjut. My name is Daniel, Daniel Woodmore. We need to talk. Lanjut. Ya, tujuan si Daniel ialah Uh, seperti si Charlie sebenarnya dia ingin mengajak si Desmond membicarakan tentang hal sedemikian rupa seperti yang si Charlie tunjukkan kepada dirinya jadi si Daniel ini juga merasakan tentang apa yang dialaminya itu sama persis seperti yang Charlie maksud ya Oke, lanjut she, she works there she was on her lunch break first time I saw her was walking through this museum shooting a chocolate bar She has these incredible blue, blue eyes, red hair. And as soon as I saw her, right, right in that moment, it was like, it was like I already loved her. And that's when things got weird. That same night after I saw that woman, I woke up and I wrote this. So what is it? I'm a musician. I have no idea. He said, this is quantum mechanics. So I took it to a friend of mine at Caltech. He's a math whiz. He said, these equations are so advanced that, that only someone who'd been studying physics their entire life could have come up with them. So, so what do they mean? Okay, imagine, imagine something terrible is about to happen, something catastrophic. The only way to stop it from happening is by releasing a huge amount of energy, like setting off a nuclear bomb. You want to set off a nuclear bomb? Just listen. What if this, all this, what if this wasn't supposed to be our life? What if we, we had some other life? For some reason, And change things. I don't want to set off a nuclear bomb, Mr. Young. I think I already did. Listen, mate, um, I don't know what any of this has to do with me. So, Why did you ask my mother about a woman named Penny? You too, didn't it? You felt it. I don't know. I don't know what I felt. 
Yes. You do. You thought love. That's impossible because I don't know anything about this woman. I don't even know if she exists. I don't know. I don't know where she's. I... She is. She's an idea. No, it's Jim. She's my half sister. And I can tell you exactly where and when you can find her. Ya, akhirnya setelah dia mendapatkan informasi dari si Daniel Verde selaku kakak dari si Penny, kakak tiri maksudnya. Dia menunjukkan di mana tempat dan waktu si Penny berada. Ya, di sinilah si Penny yang terlihat sedang berolahraga di gedung atau e, lapangan sepak bola. Ya. Tapi omong-omong ngapain juga Penny? Ya kan malam-malam olahraga sendirian di lapangan bola tanpa ada yang menemani satu orang pun ya kan. Terlihat di sini si Desmond yang melihat si Penny yang sedang olahraga dengan bangganya dia tersenyum senyum sendiri dan mendatangi si Penny lalu mengajaknya untuk berkenalan ya. Oke, lanjut. Excuse me. Yeah. Are you Penny? Uh, yes. Hello. I'm Desmond. Dengan tiba-tiba Sin beralih ke masa kegagalan bom di mana si Desmond terbangun dari pingsannya setelah melaksanakan tes yang diberikan oleh si Whitmore untuk si Desmond Di sini para anggotanya terheran melihat si Desmond yang tidak apa-apa atau e, sehat-sehat saja setelah melaksanakan tes ya padahal tes tersebut itu bisa menggosongkan dirinya ya di sini si Whitmore ini e, santai aja bahwasanya dia tahu di dalam tubuh di Desmond ini ada mukjizat oh, lanjut I'm more than a few seconds would you help me out please oh, I'm really sorry we had to do this to you Desmond As I told you, your talent is vital to our mission. So if you just let me explain. It's all right. I understand. What? I said I understand. You told me you brought me here to the island to do something very important. Yeah. When do we start? Berlanjut ke si Desmond yang akhirnya melaksanakan perintah yang ditugaskan oleh si Whitmore ya. Beserta dikawal oleh beberapa anggota dari si Whitmore. Di sini perempuan tersebut ini terheran terhadap si Desmond. Di mana 20 menit yang lalu kamu ini marah-marah kepada si Whitmore serta memukulnya dengan tongkat impus. Namun kenapa 2 menit kemudian kamu malah dengan senang hati melaksanakan perintah yang ditugaskan oleh si Whitmore ya. Dan tiba-tiba Run. We need to go now. Desmond, I don't have time to explain, but these people are extremely dangerous. I, of course. Lead the way. Lanjut kita pergi ke masa keberhasilan bom terlihat si Desmond yang bangun dari pingsannya setelah ia tadi bersalaman dengan si Penny dia pingsan dan menuju ke masa kegagalan bom ya ya terlihat di sini si Desmond yang talah tingkah perihal dia terpingsan di depan cewek yang sedang ia cari-cari di mana dan kemana-mana. Setelah bertemu dia pingsan ya. Jadi untuk memberikan rasa terima kasih kepada si Penny, di sini dia mengajak si Penny untuk kopdar bersama dirinya ya. Ya, biar tidak malu lah ya kan? Lanjut. What now? I'm a sweaty mess. I just fainted in front of you. That's <laughs> <see what> even. <laughs> There's a coffee shop on the corner of Sweetser and Melrose. I'll meet you there in an hour. Absolutely. Okay. 
country. <laughs> So, did you find what you were looking for? Yes, George, I did. <laughs> Quarter of Melrose and Suiza, please. You got it. And if there's anything else I can do for you, Mr. Hume, you just name it. Actually, there is one thing, George. Can you get me the manifest for my flight from Sydney? Just the names of the passengers. Oceanic 815. Sure I can. Do you mind if I ask you what you need it for? I just need to show them something. 